Hey, yep. Yeah. Right, this video is explaining where we see um, the school, well, it's not really a school, a learning organisation called Respect Exchange sits. So at the one end we've got schools who have teachers, classrooms, curriculums, exams and things. And then at the other end we have organisations that, that do work for money. Okay, so the people being paid to do work. And then what we've done is created Respect Exchange in the middle. So we see Respect Exchange existing between, in the gap between schools and organisations. So it sits between. So what we've done is we've taken the really pioneering aspects of work, brought that back into our Respect Exchange. Okay, and then we've ended up, so we're structured on a matrix, dodgy drawing I know, <laughs> but it's a matrix where the students can group themselves into vertical disciplines where they can learn about the discipline they're interested in and then the projects go across. Okay, so that's our classic matrix structure of which many pirate organisations are run on. Okay, we've also based it on network socialising so the, the, the students will learn how to network and get stuff done in networks. So it's network socialising, which a lot, again, a lot of the pioneering organisations are basing themselves on. Work is done in multidisciplinary virtual teams. These are teams where there's obviously lots of different disciplines working in it. They tend to be multiple ability as well, because um, some organisations can have their experts in the team and others can't. So they're multidisciplinary virtual teams. We have uh, special places where, where we're focusing on face-to-face -face social events because a lot of the work is done in the virtual teams therefore you have to create situations where the face-to-face -face socialising can happen. But what we don't take from the organisations is the commercial pressure to deliver. The reasons being we actually want to encourage the students to take on projects that they don't, don't know how to do. So in other words, they need an opportunity to fail, because that's a really good way of learning. So we don't have the commercial pressure. Often what we do is to go to the organisations to give us projects, and they might have their commercial team delivering the project, but they give us the same project and we work on it, so that the organisation gets basically two projects done for more or less the price of one. And you never know, the students might come up with a, a better or alternative solution to the commercial team. Okay. Also, what we don't do from school is we don't inherit classrooms, so we have no classrooms. We also don't inherit teachers, so we have no teachers. And we have no exams. Okay, so it's a learning organisation geared towards helping the students develop real life projects in a very similar organisation to the pioneering organisations of today. They'll leave with a portfolio of projects of their choosing that have been delivered in the same way as the potential employers operate. Okay, and we think that will enable these students to at least provide employers with an alternative to someone that's got a degree, let's say. So employers, you'll have a choice between someone that's got a, a first-class degree in, say, engineering, or a student that's delivered five or six projects in exactly the same structure that you operate in. We think sometimes you'll choose either one, but we do believe that's a valid choice. OK. Um, students, you'll also learn how to operate in pioneering organisations of the future. And I think also navigate your way through the uncertainty of whatever the networked world is going to bring us in the future which I think from a parent point of view maximise the chances of the of my child being happy oh there go my bells again so hopefully there you go that is a rapid overview of where we see respectexchange.com sitting between the gap or sitting in the gap between school and working organisations hopefully that all makes sense and I will see you later bye bye